And then for the Los Angeles Lakers, the headliner again, Scotty Pippen Jr. Cole Swider out of Syracuse to start. Max Christie has been good this week. Also in that starting five alongside Nate Pierre-Louis and Sasha Kalea Jones. Find Scotty Pippen Jr. Butter, as they say. Deep three straight away. Can't connect. Kalea Jones with another second chance bucket. And Sasha Kalea Jones doing a great job attacking the offensive glass, getting extra possessions for his team, and more importantly, converting those into second chance points. And double figures, 11 points last time out. A little drop in for Jones on the bounce. And just listen to the intensity of the building. Shot clock at two. One. Christie on the fade. Drop it in. He was happy to know that they made a trade just to be able to get him and also had a chance to play with some greats. And a fancy finish there. Timeout needed by Jaron Collins. Tip follow for Jones. No. Saves it out to Stewart. A little pump fake. Get a little closer and dropped in the 15-footer. It was a floater. You can say it. So Nassin for his first run. Crossover. And off the catch, a bomb. Down for three for Mason Jones, the Arkansas Razorback. Yeah, that, that's a good thing. When I call something or somebody a problem, that's what up? good. Lob it up. Alley, you dunked down for Butler. But great for on the assist. And great patience by Harper. <laughs> I'm a first page kind of guy. I kind of, you know, I looked at the pictures, the diagrams. That's my side thing. You know, my favorite term for that is just give me the executive summary. There you go. I like it. Three point field goals made in that game. College game. Yeah. Yes. Petty. Again. Okay. Throws. Wait a minute. Back to back threes just, now for New Orleans. So. I wonder what the summer league record is. I'd like to see a record tonight. Saw one on Tuesday. Not a lot of practice time to come out and get 120. That's impressive. Petty over the shoulder. That got through a lot of traffic. Sal for a triple. And all of a sudden, the New Orleans Pelicans, who couldn't buy a three-pointer out of the gate. The starters did a great job getting after it, but it hasn't been the same once they substituted into this game. There are three for their last three. Servetus. Catches the tip pass and puts it home. Their last three three-point field goals. That makes this team super dangerous. And remember, they are playing for something. Make it four straight threes. New Orleans needs to win and do so by five. Maybe more depending on what happens with Toronto next door for a spot in Sunday's championship game. Fabian White looked awfully comfortable on that. It worked. And I honestly believe that and, you know, I said this much earlier before all this news happened. I think that Donovan Mitchell... Okay, Jay. Yeah, I think Spider will be a New York Nick when it's all said and done. Okay. Off the skip pass. Harper. Got it. And one. Going down to check out the high school grassroots talent that Nike puts on display. I've never been able to go to that event. Come on, man. Yes. You've been to Essence Fest. Yes. And you've been to the go-go. you got to get the peace jam. Come on, that, that, he's been a double-figure scorer here all week. Harper again, can't get this one to go. Cleaned up off the back iron by McCoy, and he'll bring it up himself. Square the shoulders and let it rip. Green's making reads, so, um, yeah, but definitely the pace of the game is, you know, being the biggest change. And Dyson, for you, it, it, when the first time you got an opportunity to meet Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson and CJ McCoy, keep the nutritionist nearby. Uh, it's a dangerous food town in a good way, if you know oh, what I mean. I've already experienced some of that great food. And they've, been great, they've been great to me. And, uh... Meanwhile, the Lakers have had this push continue now, and they're working toward halftime. The Pelicans, who need a win and to do so by at least five, have got to get back to this thing, and Harper will help the cause with that bucket. Here's Servetus back in the game with a strong shoe game tonight. Harper. Well, what a dish oh. to Jones, who hammers it with two hands. Okay. And possibly meet up with the New York Knicks on Sunday for the Summer League Championship game. A quick 7-0 run by the Pels to tie this back up. Cole Slider cancels that. Another three for the Lakers. Three-point line has been the differentiator. A lot of good things to talk about with L.A., that's for sure. Swider's eight points. He had two of those three-pointers. 
Speaking of, right on cue. Wildly entertaining <laughs> second half. Well, I mean, know that New Orleans has something to play for. And again, not that the Lakers don't. The spotter lines up another, knocks down another. A lot of bouncing into the rim, but no bucket. Dippin' Jr. Swatted away. What a run to the rim for Jones. Broken four. Butler lays it in. Nice find by Petty. Dropping it off behind the back. And once again, the patience waiting and allowing Jonathan Butler to get into the right spot to be able to finish. Hot hand right now for Los Angeles. Swider for two this time. Okay. Oh, why not? Throwing a mid-range. He's got to get back and find his man. These two guys went at it between Syracuse and Florida State a number of times in ACC play. Great find. Swider has the last 11 for Los Angeles. Lakers got some giddy up to him. Drop it around here. And high off the glass and avoiding the would-be shot blocker is Kalea Jones. I love the pace of this game, though. These two teams are getting up and down the floor. The Lakers are just doing it better right now than the Bells. Pierre Louis with a tough finish. Good recovery. Shot blocked by Kalea Jones. Try it from downtown. Another look. Servitas this time. Shooter. Added pressure. I'm sure it has. But is it something that you think he relishes? Well, I think that's definitely a better question for him more so than for me. But uh, I definitely think that he's em embraced it wholeheartedly, 100%. The challenges and the fears of this game and, you know, and there's great days, there's good days, and there's bad days. So you have to be able to accept it, it, it all. But. but we watched you do it the right way, and your son is definitely a fruit of that labor and paying it all. Well, I appreciate you guys. So, to back up the value that you just placed on this event and this experience, well, if the Pelicans are going to be in the championship game on Sunday, we're going to get a dramatic comeback from New Orleans. And that's a good way to start the fourth quarter here. New Orleans needs to win and do so at one point the double-digit lead. And, Sean, let's remember that as the Lakers came down the near of the, the end of the regular season this past year, he didn't miss games, he didn't load manage, he didn't sit out time. And when you're talking about a former MVP, a top 75 player of all time, and it just didn't work out. It's hard to find that in the NBA right now. Great ball movement here. Picking a spot to shoot from, and it's dialed in by Javante McCoy. Took the pop of the back, unable to finish, no call. That's threaded it to Sebron, who dunks it home. May have tweaked something on that last possession. Pippen Jr. back in and on the way down hits the shot. So got to try to make sure he differentiates between time to be a playmaker and time to be a scorer. Looking to get the double figures. Got it. Ten points and one. It's time to be a scorer. Multiple times here tonight. Huff secured the rebound and he is positioned to score. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the spot. Shout out to the Portland Trailblazers. They've had to survive some games, tough watches today to make sure they don't get passed up. At all, it doesn't mean you were not a great player. And Corey and Monica, I don't know how we've gone through this entire broadcast, and this, this, this conversation reminds me of it. Zion Williamson signing his... That'll help, but it may be too little too late. Dark, the Lakers can dribble this out. They will win. Pelicans eliminated from championship contention. And so our final on Sunday is set. The final score, Los Angeles 102, New Orleans 94.